is Monday evening and I'm packing. I'm just continuing the video from last, well hopefully it's last week by the time I put it up. Anyway, we're going on vacation. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle. Anyway, let's pack. So I at least got the suitcase out. We leave tomorrow morning and I have all my clothes here. Not all of them, but so far. So, okay you guys, I am done packing for the most part. The only thing I have to do is in the morning um, pack up my CPAP machine. And the light you guys are seeing is from my laptop. The video is edited and it's uploaded to YouTube. It's saying 14 minutes left and I will schedule it for tomorrow morning. But yeah, packing is done. It's only 8.45 you guys and I'm tired. I finished doing everything that I needed to do, cleaning up, did laundry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn all of my alarms off on my phone that I use for work because I use an alarm to remind myself to, because we have a parking pass when we go in and I don't keep it on my car the whole entire, like when I'm not at work because it has my work address on there. And I don't know, I'm just really weird about stuff like that. So I go into work and I put it on and I have an alarm set for that to remind myself to put it on because they give tickets now. You can't just park there, you have to have a parking pass. And what else? Of course, my alarm to wake up. And I have alarms for like my lunch times because sometimes I'll be really busy and I will not forget to go to lunch, but I'll get so busy or caught up on a account that I'm not paying attention to the time. And they're really strict about, and they've always been this way. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but if you go over five hours, you'll get a meal premium, which means they will pay you an extra hour. But at the same time, you do that too many times, you get written up. So, yeah, and I don't want that to happen. I did have a meal premium before, and my managers just took it off. So, anyway, I know I'm rambling. I'm feeling better. I know I still probably sound a little congested. I don't know, but I did take some cold medicine. And... I am trying to drink a lot of water, drink, trying to drink tea, not juice, because juice has too much sugar in it. So, yeah, I'm just trying to feel better. And I'm on vacation, and I'm sick. Supposed to be having fun, and I'm sick. So, yeah, I'm just rambling, I know. All right, this will probably be it for tonight. I will just continue this tomorrow. Um, the first service is tomorrow night. Um, there's usually two services a day. Like, okay, okay, so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there will be a morning service and then a evening service. The girls join the general conference choir that's going to be singing on Friday night. So hopefully I can sit close enough that way I can zoom in on them while they're singing. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get good footage of that. I've never been to the convention center that we're going to, so I'm pretty sure it's huge, but I don't know how it's going to be set up or anything like that, so we shall see. And we might not go to the services in the mornings, because the services are, well, it's basically classes or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I brought clothes for... If we don't go in the morning and only go in the evening, I don't know. It, it We're just going to play it by ear. But, y'all, I need to go to bed. Let me schedule this video. Ten minutes left, and then I'm going to bed after that because I'm tired. So I will see you guys in the a.m. Okay. Okay, it's on there. Get my sure. I did. You standing right in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
in the hotel and it already looks like a bomb exploded. We're trying to get ready slowly. <laughs> That's Cheyenne. And no one knows what to wear. Well, except me. I know what I'm wearing. But yeah. And I've already taken my shower and I'm kind of like relaxing. So yeah. We're at the Holiday Inn. Is that where we are? In Torrance. Because the hotels. I know y'all can't see me right now. Hold on. So I was saying that we are not staying exactly in Long Beach mm -hmm. because we found, I'm not talking to you. We found the hotel a um, little less expensive than the ones in Long Beach Long Beach, because the ones in Long Beach were 2,000, um, these girls, <laughs> they are acting up. Anyway, long story short, it's just a little bit less where we are. It's only about 20 minutes, 30 minutes with traffic to the convention center. So yeah, but we are just slowly getting ready right now. So we are out, we are out. We are on the fourth floor. We have a view of the pool and hot tub. And then there's just the city, but yeah. <laughs> Cheyenne went back to the car for a minute, but this is inside the Long Beach Convention Center. <laughs> well, just the lobby. Good morning. It is Wednesday today and I feel a little bit better. Let me turn the 
TV, the volume on the TV down. Anyway, um, the girls have already gone for the day. So we are not really going to the morning services because it's like separate classes. So they are actually hanging out with some of their friends and it, they're their age. So I'm like, I've been to the aquarium before here in Long Beach and I did vlog that a while back when I went with my mom and Savannah. So I'm like, let them go enjoy their day. My friends won't be here till tonight. So I'll get to hang out with them, you know, the rest of the week or whatever. So, I'm here at the hotel and I just ordered some food on DoorDash because we only drove one car and there's nothing really in walking distance here, otherwise I would have walked to get something. So, I am actually going to go downstairs because now I have a driver. That way, you know, they won't, you know, have to worry about leaving it at the front desk or whatever that they can just hand it to me. So, yeah. Let's go get my breakfast. I just ordered a salad or something like that. Um, still trying to be good, even though I'm on vacation. Um, last night, you guys... So you guys know I'm going into this not feeling very well and kind of sick, right? But not sick to where I should be staying at home. So now, last night after service, it was insane. So Shine got a blister on her feet. Savannah's legs were hurting because the floor is concrete and then I still wasn't feeling that great So instead of us hanging out and talking to more people and doing like that We all just got Shake Shack drive-through and we came back to the hotel ate and went to bed Yeah, it, 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 it was tiring. So I'm sure tonight's going to be different and plus the reason why I am I keep looking at my phone the reason why i am staying here at the hotel now is because my aunt diane she lives here also in southern california so she wants to come to the conference so she's actually going to be staying with us here in the hotel la is so huge so big that you know you can't just say oh, i'll be there in 20 minutes she lives maybe a couple of hours away and it's not even a couple of hours away it's literally not that far from where we are but traffic it'll probably take her an hour to get here so yeah um, she is on her way here so I didn't want to have to worry about going to the aquarium even though I, like I said I could have gone but I would have been the 50 year old even though I'm 52 I would have been the old lady around 20 year olds and 25 and 28 year olds and no no yeah so I stayed here all right, let's go downstairs. Just hanging out in the lobby. My breakfast sets brunch is on the way. It's really nice down here. Oh, there's fishes in here. How cute. And there's me. Alright, just sitting in the lobby. They have the other part over there, like with cones because uh, she's mopping otherwise I would take you back there and show you guys and then there's something upstairs so if I get a chance to I will try to show you guys if not then we won't be able to see it this one you have to put your key card up there and then press the floor Okay, I have you guys set up. Hello. Hold on. Okay, I had to get a better setup. Y'all, I look so tired. Look at my face. And plus, I think the lines are still in here from my CPAP machine. Oh, I need to wake up before 
it's time for me to go tonight. Anyway, so I have my food and I'm still trying to be healthy even though I'm on vacation. So I got the salad from a place I've never heard of. What's it called? Anyway, it came from California Chicken Cafe and I just got a, a green goodness salad with some seasonal fruit. And you know what they did not put in here? A fork. How am I supposed to eat it without a fork? And the kitchen is closed for breakfast downstairs. So how am I going to eat this salad without any utensils, you guys? Okay. Okay, I had to go back downstairs. They did give me a fork and spoon and salt and pepper, even though I won't use the salt and pepper, but yeah, this is my salad that I got. And then a little bowl of fruit. Still trying to be good, y'all. Still trying to be good. So the girls are sending me pictures from their excursion at the aquarium and I forgot about this when me and Savannah my mom went there you could paint a fish and it'll swim inside the aquarium or it'll look like it's swimming or whatever so yeah pretty cool glad they're enjoying their time so yeah you guys I'm so hungry what time is it it's 11 30 a.m. Well, duh. And I'm just now eating. Yeah. So, you know the area on DoorDash, when you order, you can click um, to add utensils or whatever like that? I know for a fact that I did that, and they just forgot it. I mean, no one's perfect or whatever, but... It's not like I'm in my house. I think I've had this kind of dressing before. It's green. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah. Let me taste it first before I put it all on my salad. I'm not gonna use very much. It's okay. It's kind of tangy, but this has avocado, um, Radishes, I added feta cheese, lettuce of course, well I picked arugula, and then cucumber, did I say that, and then the sprouts. Okay, so let me just add a little bit of dressing. And I'm just going to eat my breakfast and lunch, you guys. It came with croutons, but I'm not doing keto, but I'm doing low carb as possible. So maybe I'll just have a, a few. I don't know. All right, you guys. I am going to eat my breakfast or lunch, whatever you want to call it. And then... Do nothing I'm just here it feels really weird with them being gone I mean I get it I'm not upset or mad or anything but and like I said I could have gone but why okay let me finish eating okay you guys so I finished my meal I didn't finish it all, though it's a huge salad. Still has a lot left in it. Oh. Ooh, the dressing all dripped to the bottom. Anyway, it was just okay. I mean, would I get it again if I'm here? No. I mean, but it was food, so whatever. The fruit was decent. So, 
yeah, I'm not complaining. I mean, I chose it, so can't get mad at myself. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it maybe a four and a half. It was blah. I don't know, maybe I was expecting more because of all the things that were in it and it just sounded really good. I don't know, anyway, whatever. But now you guys, now I wish that maybe I should have went to the aquarium with my girls and just like did my own thing. They could have did whatever and I could have been off doing whatever, you know, because now my aunt isn't coming and it's because I guess here and I heard it on the news this morning the dock workers are on strike and I don't know how long they've been on strike or whatever and it's pretty serious but they're not shipping anything they're not moving anything you know how it is when people go on strike they they don't do anything and I'm not blaming them or whatever like that I hope they get what they're asking for because if it's that bad for them to go on strike then you know the company needs to do better anyway so I guess my aunt was saying that it's hard finding water and canned food and things are flying off the shelf. And when she said all that, it reminded me of 2020 when people were, were going crazy and buying toilet paper of all things. Toilet paper. I, <laughs> I will never get over that because I get buying and you know getting what you need for your family, but why toilet paper? Did they think that COVID was going to bring about diarrhea, uncontrollable diarrhea that you needed toilet paper for? And the reason why I was so mad at that time, because I literally had like, I don't know, two or four rolls left. I needed toilet paper. I could not find toilet paper. And Melissa ended up giving me some. And then um, my friend Rebecca. But yeah, people are insane when they think the world's gonna end or something you know give me give me give me give me all for my family and none for you I mean I get got we got to take care of ourselves my batteries flashing y'all already know hold on okay new batteries in so anyway what was I saying I don't know anyway my aunt's not coming so yeah she could still come tomorrow I guess I'll let her know I don't know whatever now I'm bored I'm sitting in a hotel room in LA. I love LA, you guys, you know that. Or if you don't know, now you know, with nothing to do, because I didn't drive my own car. Yeah, that's what I get for wanting to be a pass passenger princess. But it was my choice not to go with them. Anyway, what to do, what to do. They're out like doing more cleaning on the pool. They were cleaning it this morning, but now I see him, I don't know, doing something around there. So I don't know, I'm not gonna go in the pool. So you guys, the week we picked to come, not that we picked it, but <laughs> our conference was this week, but the week that we are here, LA and all the surrounding areas is having a heat wave. I guess in the mountains, not in the mountains, in the deserts, 114. And then when we came in yesterday, the thermostat in Cheyenne's car said 106. I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? We're here to enjoy our time and enjoy the cooler weather. I even brought jackets. I brought a coat for the evening, a nice, a nice coat for like my church clothes. And then I brought a brought a hoodie for during the day because I'm like, okay, we're gonna go around where the beach is. We're gonna be in Long Beach, and it's gonna be chilly and cool. It's gonna be nice. Nope, nope, not at all. I did bring my coat in the car yesterday, but I didn't put it on. It was a little windy, but it's always kind of windy here usually. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just rambling. I know. I don't know what to do, y'all. I'm bored. I'm bored. I should have gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. I did bring my Kindle, so I guess I could read.
Okay, I guess whatever he was doing, he's done. But I didn't bring any clothes to go swimming in because I didn't think it was going to be hot. I mean, and I'm not going to sit out there because absolutely no shade. No kind of pool, like umbrella or anything. So that's a no. It would be nice to go sit out there though. Just to, I don't know, just to be out there. But I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm just going to be in the room. Housekeeping hasn't come yet. And of course, our room looks like this. <laughs> so yeah. Stuck in a hotel room, in a hotel room board in LA. Because I decided to stay here. Oh, he scared me. Popped up from there. I don't think you can see me. But you know, I don't want him to think I'm recording him like I'm some crazy lady. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a guy right there. Yeah. Okay. What is he going to do? Let's see. Since I'm bored. Did he take a picture of the pool? Maybe he's adding chlorine to it? I don't know. He was hovering above it earlier. That's how bored I am, you guys. We're gonna watch what the worker does. Yeah, he's taking pictures of the pool. Maybe to prove to his boss that he did something? I don't know. Mm, and then he's going back in. All right, y'all, that's enough. This is my outfit for the night. Not wearing any heels because I'm just not. We do a lot of standing, a lot of jumping, and all that jazz. So, yeah. Oh, yeah.